You guys know I love the Game Boy, but I can't exactly be carrying this thing around. Look at the size of this thing. What if I could have a Game Boy always with me? Not only with me, but actually protecting my phone. That's what we're gonna look at today. This is an iPhone case that, let's try this camera here, that's better. That's a Game Boy phone case that actually works. This actually plays games. Is it any good? Let's take a look. All right, so uh, I was actually pretty excited when I got sent this. I saw ads for this on Facebook and stuff, and of course, with all things Game Boy, people hit me up like crazy. Like, I was sent this link a thousand times when this first dropped, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna review it on the channel. So, obviously, it's not very expensive, so I wasn't expecting much. And despite looking like a Game Boy, this doesn't actually emulate Game Boy games. Instead, it runs NES games. It's basically an NES clone. And I've played with a lot of these over the years, and because of the price, I really can't expect that much. But so, let's take a look at this. So right here, it's super nondescript. It says game phone case, 36 classic games it says here. Classic nostalgic game cell phone shell V? Shell V? Okay, so in the back, uh, there's a different uh, model here, a red one. And uh, I gotta say, I, I much prefer the white one that actually looks a lot more like uh, an actual Game Boy, right? Like, uh, like that, that looks better to me. This, not so much. And yes, I know they actually put out red Game Boys in the Play It Loud series, but this is the classic look of the Game Boy as far as I'm concerned. Don't at me. Jokes aside, let's take a look at this thing. So, uh, okay, it doesn't come with much in the box. And actually, I, I don't think it actually came with a micro USB cable because I've, I've played with this before and it, it, there's a chance I misplaced it because I'm very disorganized. But judging on the box here, there's not a lot of room for it. Maybe they could, you know, maybe they put it like under this little plastic thing here. I honestly can't remember. And to be totally frank, I have so many of these that I'd actually prefer if companies stop shipping micro USB cables with their stuff. I, I have plenty and I'm pretty sure you do too. I've showed this here on the channel before, but I have, and I'm certain you guys have something like this at your house. This is my little micro USB baggie here. I have a little charger baggie over here. I guess I'm not as disorganized as I thought. There's like mini USB cables here. I have enough, I have, I have enough USB cables to last me a lifetime. So um, I'm good. All right, let's uh, let's clear this out here. My, my desk is such a mess, man. There's so many things here. All right, so this is the model for the iPhone 10. Gearbest, the people who sent me this thing, they have a whole bunch of different models for different phones. So the links are gonna be in the description and there's a little box where you can choose whichever one you wanna get if you choose to get this thing. Now, first impressions here, it feels kind of flimsy, right? Cause it's, it's really cheap. Like this thing is 15 bucks, right? So, you know, the buttons are, they're, they're kind of like, they're not, they're not plastic, the buttons are rubbery. I'm not sure how I like that. And the sides here are rubber too, to, so you can put your phone in there. And uh, it'll add a little bit of bulk to your phone, obviously. There's a micro USB port here right on the side to charge. And there's the buttons here to access your phone. So the volume buttons and the on off switch here. So let's, I'm gonna put my phone here. Here we go. And uh, that's what it looks like with the case. As you can see, it does add a bit of bulk to the phone. This doesn't bother me that much because I used to use battery cases with my phone. In fact, this is the first iPhone in a long time where I didn't buy one because I just didn't feel like buying one just yet. But it's weird, going back to like a bulkier, slightly heavier case feels more natural to me than, it's upside down, more natural to me than I expected it to. So. Perhaps, you know, it's funny. I, I used Mophie cases for charging my phone while on the go for so many years. And I remember the first time I used my phone without that case, even my typing was off because my muscle memory had adapted to the weight and the, the added size of that case. It's interesting how adaptable we are. Anyway, let's take a look at the actual case. So there's an on off switch, reset button, SP, which I imagine stands for start and pause, sound, AB, and the D-pad. Press and hold, and here we go, the light comes on. A little bit of light bleed here, which is common. It's part for the course for these uh, inexpensive electronics. I hate the sound, so I'm gonna mute that right off the bat. The top option here says English, and though I don't speak Chinese, I assume this means Chinese. All right, so let's go with, let's pick English. 
So here you got this little, let me, let me bring the camera a little bit close. Nope, wrong way. Let's bring it a little bit closer. That's better. So as you can see, it's like this part here is indented. Um, I would have preferred, I don't like this, this, I understand why it would look kind of funny to have all that plastic around the camera, but I'm not sure if I like this that much. Anyway, so you have super, there's 36 games as the box touted. Super Contra, and I'm, I'm pressing buttons here on my phone. Let's uh, cancel that, I'm there you go. So you got Super Contra, Mario Brothers, Tetris A, the spelling as can be expected with these inexpensive Chinese emulation devices is a little iffy. I mentioned this before, I, I feel like they're, they're passing on the savings of proper spelling to you. That's why this thing is so cheap. We got Boom Man, which is obviously Bomberman based on the on on the the icon there. Oop, I'm I'm going to the next page here. What else? A balloon fight, Donkey Kong, Excite Bike. You know, I've become a pretty big fan of Donkey Kong in the last few years. I never cared for the game that much, but now I'm a I'm I'm I've become a sucker for classic platformers. Spartan X, Arkanoid, Five Chess, Majang. I think it's supposed to be Majong. Ice Climber, Pac-Man, Mario Brothers, Tennis. What else? Circus, Puyan, Battle City, F1 Race, Pinball, Soccer, Load Runner, Nuts Milk. I'm not gonna touch that one. Olympic 1942 Macross, Star Force, Bomb Jack, Sky Destroyer, in Badminton, and it's misspelled of course, Road Fighter, Chinese Chess, Urban Champion, Mappy. Ping, Penguin Coon Wars. So those are the 36 games here. Some notable games, some not so notable. Let's go with uh, let's go with the classic Super Mario Brothers. Can't go wrong with Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, it looks like Super Mario Brothers. All right. Turn on the sound. Here we go. So now the first thing I notice, and this is this is kind of annoying. Uh, two things here that I notice uh, when I press the oh, oops. Apparently I suck at Super Mario Brothers. Let's try that again. When I press the button here, you can see that it's it's transferring some of that pressure to the LCD. So again, common with these inexpensive Chinese products. Now, one thing that is, it makes the game far harder than it has to be, is that for some reason that I'll never understand, the buttons here are inverted. So you'd expect to run with this button here on your left hand side and then jump with this and you do this with your thumb. But for some reason, they have it backwards. So B is to run and A is to jump, which makes it so Super Mario. There's a, like there's an added difficulty level to Super Mario. Oh my God, that was so close. Okay, come on, come on, sucker. Oh, see, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, baby. There you go. Oops. Oop. Okay. See, after years of playing this thing. It's like, it's so unnatural to be pressing the wrong button to, to jump and to shoot fireballs. But it works. Okay. Oh, well, that sucked. Let's go with Donkey Kong. All right. I've been playing Donkey Kong 94 on the Game Boy for so long that classic Donkey Kong now feels kind of weird to me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, that was close. Come on, get the, there we go. Now we're talking. And again. Oh yeah, no, this is not Donkey Kong 94. I can't throw the mallet up. Oh, 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 oh. Whoopsie. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, I knew that second one was going to get me. I knew it. Come on. It's really tricky. I have to say this because it's so tricky playing this through the monitor, but uh, I'll give it my best shot here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, the spacing. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Get out. Oh, that was close. I thought I was gonna. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's it, that's it. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. There we go. Obviously, no save states. This is a very, uh, it's a very basic emulation machine. 
So there's that. So yeah, this is the phone case. Uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's it's really it's really cheap and kind of janky, but again, 15 bucks, right? I can see this being a, a, a big hit at uh, at some kind of like if you're giving this away as a stocking stuffer or something like that, or a Secret Santa, that'd be I, I'd be I'd be stoked if uh, at a Secret Santa party, this is what I got. I for sure be playing this throughout the entire party. It's kind of nice. I mean, like I said. This is not going to replace your GPD XD or even your BitBoy for that matter. But it's a nice little oddity. Uh, it's it's I, I see this. This would be a great conversation starter if nothing else. If uh, if you're walking around with your phone and this thing is even just like on like this and people see it like you know you got your phone out and you're texting or whatever and then I would I, I'll tell you this. Obviously it doesn't work because of where the camera is placed, but it would be awesome if this was flipped so that the screen was up here in line with the top of the phone. So as you're, you're, you're texting, right? Like the way it is, if you're texting with this case on, this is what people would see, right? If, if you're texting or you're, you're, you know, whatever, you're on Twitter or you're making a phone call and then that's what people see in the back, like a little animated screen with the game playing here, that would be dope, honestly. A little animated phone case that looked like a Game Boy and had like a little loop of a Game Boy game playing here in the background. I love this. This is the this is the, the next best thing. And it's a bummer that because of the placement of the camera, when you're holding the phone in its proper orientation, this is going to be upside down. But yeah, this is a cool little conversation starter. It's not going to be uh, your 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 go-to emulation solution. I doubt it, but it's kind of nice. I like it. I actually like it. As always, I'm going to leave links down there in the description in case you want to pick up your own iPhone emulator case. And that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you happen to see something like that on the internet, something retro related that you think I'd be into, don't hesitate to send me the link. I'm I'm gonna end up getting my hands on it and reviewing it here on the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe, that helps us out so much. You know this, everybody knows this, but I have to say it anyway. It's called a call to action. It's a thing we have to do. Follow me on social media if you don't already. I'm very active on both Twitter and Instagram. And that is all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.